Dearest heart, how could you doubt your greatness for even a second when you are literally in the midst of one of your most transformative chapters? So you would not judge an artist in the middle of executing one of their masterpieces. So why are you judging this period of your life as if it is the final product? There is no being on this planet that can stop you from experiencing what the universe has always planned for you. So there is no energy on this planet that can prevent you from the gifts the universe has prepared for you to receive. So what is written in the stars for you? is not changing but your perception of life has to start believing you deserve all the wonderful things you dream about stop vibrating at a frequency that is higher than the one you are at right now and before you know it an overflow of abundance will pour into every corner of your life like fresh rain water after a drought you got this my child even when doubt tries to talk you down and pull you under remember that your journey is already mapped out and on top of that So the best days of your life are waiting around the corner. Dear souls, know that you have been feeling trapped of late regarding a situation, but you need to realize that you can free yourself any time you want. The feelings of being trapped are all in your mind and you have the power to release yourself. So you were seduced into thinking a situation was what you wanted but are now seeing there was more than meets the eye and that all that glitter was not gold. You attach yourself to someone or something that on a deeper level was not fulfilling at all hence the feeling of being trapped you are wanting to move onwards now from this but you are carefully planning this and you would not move forward without feeling that you have things figured out so it is slow going but this just may be the right approach as you need to understand the lesson i implement and what you have learned from the situation so gone is the need for just sleep service regarding your truth and you know you have to put your actions in line with your inner knowledge of your truth and live it so you are needing to pick a path make sure the path you choose is in alignment with what will satisfy and you spiritually as well as physically so there may be something more spiritually aligned if you allow that to develop instead of just accepting what is immediately available so choose wisely so you are being called to live your purpose and things lately have really helped you to identify your true purpose so you now need to align yourself fully to this to follow that vision that is in your heart and to trust on the journey 
you are being taken on so you are needing to summon your own power back as you are not powerless in any situation and even if you feel like you are so you can decide that you hold a power to make a change in your life and if you call on higher powers your higher self or guides from other realms so they will assist you in calling back your power to you so you can take charge so dear souls know that never regret being kind to people who did not appreciate it or took advantage of it your kind heart is exactly what the world needs more of today so i know that does not make it easier to choose this way of being and it is so tempting to harden the heart with walls of protection so but to have the courage to be kind with so many temptations or reasons not to this is what the heroes of our era are made of so it is who the leaders of the future will be and it is exactly what our world is crying out for now your kindness is not weakness it is not something to be ashamed of just because someone else could not appreciate it it is something to be reverenced and honored to be respected and admired and to choose again and again so dear souls know that someone who is on your mind is going to hold your hand very soon you are the prize they want to win someone is super attracted to you and this attraction is not just physical but they genuinely appreciate and admires you as a person they put you up on a pedestal and think of you as someone they want to settle down with so they imagine having a perfect family life with you and you could be way better than this person in all aspects of your life and this is the exact reason they fear disclosing your their true feelings This person could be from your friend circle or pretend to be your friend but secretly they earn to be your lifelong partner. So they are tired of being just friends or they feel like you are a happy independent soul and would not accept their offer of love and whatever the reason. So this person is determined to have you and they will be persistent in their efforts and there are happy times and reunion in the days ahead. So dear souls know that this person truly loves you and you have their heart. There is no doubt in that you truly change this person's life. So this person never have intention to give you something solid in this relationship especially in the starting phase of this connection of relationship and it can be totally one sided for some of you So this person was only taking in this connection whatever you are giving to them but they never wanted to give back anything
so you have also experienced a very good time with this person where they give you all the love and attention you always crave from them so but it was a temporary period in your connection and most of the time you spend in separation and no contact ghosting so this person hurt you because they are also hurt in this connection you really changed a player into a lover but when they finally decided to give you something stable in this connection someone influenced them negative about you and for many of you it is a common friend of yours and your partner who pretend to be your love angel and your med meditator but in reality this person is the main reason of your all the problems in this connection they are jealous of your connection and the love you have for each other so this person hurt you because they think that you are intentionally hurting them cheating them for many of you and this person misunderstand your self love for love for someone else there are a lot of misunderstanding and confusion going on in your connection and a clear communication is much needed so but now other you can't talk to them or you don't want to talk to them because this communication will take some time although this confusion and misunderstanding will be clear but till then it will be a really painful period for both of you because you guys are soulmates and currently both of you are longing for each other so dear souls know that your soul knows it's and it's time for alignment it's time for things to shape up and i see two energies feeling connection very intensely like something was bound to happen so i see a person energy who does not want to give up on you and you are being asked not to repeat the mistake of the past so i do see some residues of the past that you carry and so does this person and all those patterns and restrictions and self limiting beliefs have to go and they will go so i see that to be a slightly immature and we all go through such phases this time you got to understand that being guarded is only going to harm you and going forward so subconsciously you two have been guarded and that has always been there i pick on energies of self doubt and lack of self worth think through things do you respect yourself and the choices that you have made in your life and i see a powerful being in you but you don't respect it enough why and what is stopping you why would you always choose to make others happy and not choose yourself why and i see that this the only blocking energy here so this love is one of a kind and is here for good whenever in life you choose love you have to let go of anything and that is stopping you from loving yourself so dear souls know that at this moment in your life you are awakening to the realization that you create your own desired future so you know that you are not a puppet 
tied to the strings of the illusion of faith embrace the awareness that everything happening in your life is in exact accordance to the nature in which it was produced so know that you are not a victim of any predetermined course of events or future outcomes you are the sole creator of your own destiny it is up to you to grasp the reasons of the ever flowing intelligent consciousness residing in your soul and implement new thoughts and ideas in your mind so reclaim the true essence of your eternal nature as spirit and live the life of your dreams so you are consciously creating your life according to each thought and action that is sparked from the present moment so pay close attention to the thoughts being played out in your mind and for each one is a key to bring into existence the circumstances of your future so learn how to master your mind with positive affirmations and intuitive wisdom in order to dream and create the desired path of your future So release the bonds that keeps you emotionally enslaved to your condition by fully accepting each and every happening in your present life. So understand that everything happening in your perceived reality is beneficial to your spiritual growth. Learn to love life, love yourself and live a virtuous existence. so be alive and awake in the realization of your divinity and shine your goodness into the world so we have outgrow being hidden stuck and having to play it small for others and that is all healing with full power recovery This includes removal of blocks that created separation with you and your divine counterpart. We have broken free from this matrix traps that divided the masculine and feminine. So a collective evolution is taking us all out of those cycle whatever role you play. This is a massive breakthrough that the divine masculine Christ collective is having revealing the truth of their love. So decisions can be made based on this knowledge revealed. The divine masculine Christ are choosing to return to their heart and be of service based on love for the greater good. so the result is kindness reverence and respect for the divine feminine christ be still and witness this manifestation unfolding motives so dear souls know that you started awakening on this divine connection first this is because you are more in touch with your intuitive side naturally and could recognize that so there was some kind of soul connection going on here this does not mean you have had it easy you have been through that spiritual awakening process and understand just how hard it can be but as you became more spiritually enlightened you come to realize the even through physical separation you are never truly separated you still feel their energy and they still feel a part of you 
Sometimes that feels hard as you long for that physical connection and other times you are able to get on with your life perfectly fine feeling just a 5D connection. So you have been feeling confused yourself though even though you know all this you may have wondered if this was only about a spiritual awakening. Was this all real? Did they feel the same? Or did you just meet a necrosis that took you for a ride? And yes, sometimes we can get it wrong as to who our divine counterpart is. But on doing the work on ourselves, we get to understand our soul more and whether ego tricked us or not. Most of you know now who your true counterpart is because you understand your soul better. Your ego still may try and tell you differently about the connection, the likely outcome and hence the confusion but your soul has always known and when you connect to your soul and with the divine. You get that confirmation about the connection you feel to this person, you know the truth despite what is going on physically between you. But what you have to realize is that you don't have to fight for this connection and as the one who is mean for you will be with you and this love acts as a magnet. So fighting for it or fighting against it really is necessary. It just brings suffering. Surrender is the key. Surrendering to this love to your soul and knowing your own power as a DF is enough to bring your DM home to you. So dear souls know. There is only one way to tell that someone is truly the love of your life and it is this, they make you the best possible version of yourself that you can be. This is what separates terrible relationships from great ones because chemistry is usually not that different here. It is not about who that person is, it is about who that person makes you. The love of your life is the person you are most comfortable with and who you naturally feel that you can be yourself around. And this is someone who make you feel loved for who you most essentially are and when you are loved at this level. You transform into the best possible version of yourself you can be. So this is what makes someone the love of your life and nothing less. Chemistry is actually really easy to come by. If that is your measure, you will have a thousand soulmates in a life. A lot of people are attractive at the surface and very few actually have the capacity to love you for who you are, very few have the power to naturally make you want to be the best version of yourself possible. So the love of your life is not the person into whom you invest all of your time and energy and resources, they do not become your life. They are the person who walks alongside you. On separate but congru congruent path who inspires you and makes you feel free enough to do all that you ever dream of to be everything you always wanted. So this is what truly different ties a soulmate from anyone else Instead of being so invested in this relationship, you seem to naturally begin 
to reinvest in yourself as well and this works because to be in a happy relationship long term you do have to rise to meet your past self you do have to confront your unconscious beliefs and attachments and fears and assumptions so you do have to heal you do have to break free of what is held you back you do have to become a new person and yet more yourself than ever before this is not just a nice option this is the purpose that relationships have in our lives not to distract us from who we could be but to help us grow into all that we already are so dear souls know that getting more and more powerful is the wave of light that is entering the planet it is reaching a critical mass this also means that the healing and loving energy that you share outside has a very influential impact on the planet and on humanity more than anything other than love and this light force is coming to earth will continue to get even stronger now every short step towards the growth of your soul and the higher good is helping you to accelerate its ascension as we have never experienced before in this life so part of this process is happening because the body of light has been activated in many and by working consciously with light in thinking of it there is also a rainbow bridge in its final activation stages during this lifetime so thinking of life immediately attracts it to you where you are loaded with light and radiant lighthouse it is when you are in such a high vibration that you transform all the energy around you like a chunk of karma in diamond of gold entering a timeline and a higher order so dear souls know whatever glorious or beautiful or mighty being exists anywhere know that it has spring from but a spark of my splendor whatever there is good the profusion of knowledge purity of her righteousness beauty power and splendor all that is only a manifested fragment of the lord's glory all talents all faculties all arts and scientists sciences all intelligence order discipline all that is admirable grand great and splendid are the manifestation of the lord's glory so wherever there is any happiness wherever there is any bliss there is a spark of that immortality which is god wherever thou findest a great soul of immense power and purity struggling to raise humanity so know that he is born of my splendor that i am there working through him wherever an extraordinary spiritual power is manifested by an external human know that i am there and it is from me that manifestations come so if we add up all the glories in the universe that glory is but a fraction of lord's glory 
we use the visible expression to remind us of the invisible god and in this manner we will be able to maintain a constant awareness of god dear souls know that love is not only about your loving the others but love yourself perhaps balance your feminine and masculine energy within you and you have the power to overcome this situation step up and be the adult take your own responsibility and face your thready issue as well as your wounds for those who has been dealing in a connection this person tend to be a very traditional and when it's come to approaching relationship they also not the type of person who is easily to expressing their own emotions there are many ego fears within you and this person so smoky is here to tell both of you to start take life seriously and if you truly want to make those hurt desire come true because in order to bring that to the reality and you and your person need to be emotional available to individuality so with this all being said it is clear they are your true love and they are here already for you someone new is coming towards you but for others so you may need to set boundaries at first and if you have eyes on someone it is okay to tell them surrender to the result and the spirit is taking care of it take control in your career life because you have the power to manifest the wealth you have desire this is the time to be your own boss this also means step and speak up for yourself and take the lead do what you have been wanting to do in your career so either change the job ask for paid raise smoky is here to suggest to use the resources you have to be able take your career into the next phase for some you are guided to be more disciplined and create a new routine routine towards yourself and as it will be mirroring to your car year well is the result of the hard work type s if you have faith and trust in universe and if you want your all wishes comes through type amen